This is the 2.30 p.m. update for December 17th, 2010. Essentially, we have a NASDAQ breakout above uh, 20, 26.46, which is the setting up for a fifth or third wave. But we don't have anything following, like I've shown you. Like, for example, like Apple, no movement, no breakout, Google. No breakout, that's just a... Uh, slippery wave two, quote unquote. Amazon. I'm just looking at a couple stocks that I'm just showing. There's no breakouts at all. The breakout for uh, Amazon would be above 181. It's not even close. Nasdaq could be breaking out, of course, but there's nothing following it. But <clears throat> one trade setup you can do is like maybe trade TNA. But let me check that out. Yeah, TNA is close to a breakout, so it's actually following the NASDAQ. TNA is triple long, and um, if you're really daring, you want to like push it, I mean, till the end of the year, and take a take a risky trade, you can actually trade TNA here, if it takes that 71.5. That actually could be a good trade, but I, I personally wouldn't do it. For S&P, Because I'm really strict when it comes to to January. Because I just for the past ten years that I've been trading, um, ten plus years that I've been trading, um, every time every January I've I've, tra I've tried to trade, I've gotten killed. And it's like a just a history. Like it's notoriously bad for me in January. So I'm 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 not trying to delay anything. I just don't want to get killed again. Basically, anyway, for the for the Dow, it's actually rolling off the of lows and kind of another flat ABC flat, ABC, and if it takes at eleven thousand five twenty, they'll set up an upper upper five. So if you're really daring and you want to make a trade, you really really want to make a trade, I would suggest TNA. Even though on my website I can't suggest anything, I just I'm just you just follow what I do. <laughs> so. There's TNA right there. That's a wrap.